right. So my topic is separate. And I I think it's fitting we talk about this during Black History Month. Um, I'm I wanted to talk about how many black people are low-key might be anti-black. And I, I want to just ask this oh, question. I remember out this. Loud. Okay. Uh -huh. I want to just ask this question out loud because like the more and more you get on social media, right? And you see people say certain things, right? They say certain things about gay black people, or they say certain things about how someone dresses or, you know, certain things that aren't part of a status quo, so to speak. And you hear these comments that are like extremely toxic and also problematic because it feels as though so many black people are so used to the status quo of how to dress, how to look, how to talk, uh, what's susceptible, what's not, that it's almost like some of us have been brainwashed into it to the point where we're not accepting of different versions of ourselves. So I'm I'm just asking this question out loud. Like, are you sure as a black person that you're not anti-black? Can you give an example of a... Uh... For example, I'll see people be like, yeah, um, black per yeah, let's go black folks for certain awards and stuff until it's a person who is a black gay person or until it's a person that's a black trans person or until it's a black person that doesn't have the aesthetic of a black person. So like they might like something that's eccentric or they might like or certain things that doesn't traditionally apply to us and they're immediately cast aside because of it and to me it's like if you aren't supportive of all different versions of black people that aren't harming you or disrespecting you then isn't that a form of anti-blackness yourself i think so i i I, I when you were saying like giving the examples, I immediately thought of, like Charles Gambino or Donald mm -hmm. Glover, yeah. because um, although he's a he's a he's a rapper, he's a great actor in my opinion, and just a talented person. A lot of people don't fuck with him just because mm -hmm. he's uh he dates a white like, girl, white, white whitewash, right? Whitewash, yeah, yeah. Say that. So I, I, I feel like also I feel like for the people that don't support just because they're or gay or they just don't like, I feel like that lays deeper in them being anti-gay or anti-whatever, which the goes reason, into... But the reason I, specific, I specify anti-black is because, yeah. again, if you are a black person... <laughs> Wait, what happened? What? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Shout out to the With black youth, for example, like this whole idea that this old school mindset that a lot of black people have, even people who are our age of like, oh, yeah, you should beat your kids or, you know what I mean? You should whoop your kids ass or something. And it's like, what? where is the studies or what is the evidence that you've seen that Beating your child's ass is actually beneficial to you as a parent. Mm -hmm. Because from my perspective, any person that is of color, but especially black, that has got their ass whooped, does not have fond memories of it. And either A, don't have a good relationship with their parents, or B, are resentful towards their parents because of it. But for some reason, this thing in the black community, we still are like, yeah, we need to beat our kids' ass when they start acting up. Instead of being like, oh, well, maybe I should actually talk with my kids, like, or be like an actual fucking parent and not a dictator. Like, is that not a form of anti-blackness? I think I think it comes from where you see uh, other races, like where you see white kids and, and you always be like, oh, that's some white people shit. Like, right. Yeah. Curse, cursing at your parent and being... I know, I know. Parents be using, "Oh, you talking back? That's disrespectful." Which is not. I'm just having a conversation with you. But, but, but they do that uh, all but, the time. That, 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 that be that be the, the thing that gets me most time. I'm like, yeah, I'm talking to you <laughs> <laughs> because I don't because I don't agree with you. Now I'm talking back. Like, it's crazy. But there's, there's, I think there's very different levels to the to the the parent thing. Sorry, I'm just reminiscing. But 
Oh, you having trauma dude. thoughts? No, nah, it's not trauma thoughts, but it's just like, bro, how am I talking back? I'm just, I'm literally having a conversation. But well, you also Caribbean different... too, so that's I think that's an extra layer to it too. Yeah, but I still I still think there's different levels to, um, and I think that's why people are more so say, oh, I'll I'll whoop my kid or I'll discipline my kid. I don't think to the lengths that they were disciplined, where they're, I think they're more so more to discipline them to so they won't hurt themselves like oh don't don't put just your, your hand on the, the hot stove because you're gonna get hurt so you think but then, but but my thing is you think having to whip them or physically assault them is going to teach them to not put their hand on that stove rather than just telling them or showing them look this is what happens when you put your hand on the stove you get burned so don't put your hand on the goddamn stove no more like it, like kids are more are smarter than we give them credit for. I, like, why do we I, need to physically I, assault them to do that, especially as black parents? I think it's from um they repeatedly doing this stuff, and I I it's they like have a a saying: those who who don't listen must feel, right? Ooh, and if you no 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 no, I'm not saying it's a good bar. I'm saying that. <laughs> it's not a good bar. I'm, I'm saying if you I'm, don't I'm, listen, you heavy. you gonna. <laughs> You gotta feel it to to ingrain in your head. But I mm -hmm. think majority, at least this I look at from my parents' perspective or other people's parents' perspective, they're more so whoop their kids. I don't know what lens they're doing it at. I would say yell or put them in the room, time out, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. so they could protect themselves, protect their kids. As in, like, all right, this is a life lesson because when you're not home or when you're in other people's places. You gotta you gotta do this again, and you gotta get yourself hurt, and that's that's when you actually learn that like oh I I ain't gonna do it again like and as a kid kids gonna be curious kids kids are always curious that's not a bad thing yeah, yeah. don't it, I think there's there's a common grade of not not completely annihilating your kid um and <laughs> <laughs> and you could talk to them be like yo you this you gonna get hurt. Now it's your decision whether you want to let them feel it and experience the pain, or you know try to prevent them to. I can tell how that's how I look at with these kids for sure. I'm not gonna with my kids, but that's if if think 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 about you having your kid and they're they're playing by the stove, okay, the hot stove, and they they got a hot pot pot of soup just just cradling them above them. Mm -hmm. You gotta yell at them. Are you gonna yell at them or are you like, no, no, Johnny? Put no, this, you put, can assert the thing no, down. You can assert yourself, of course. But what? that's what that's what I'm saying though. There's a way to talk to your kids in a authoritative manner without feeling the need to like completely disrespect them. And because like because uh, sometimes, especially black parents, they act like kids because they're kids, they don't have any autonomy. And they have mm -hmm. no sense of anything. Like, yeah, they don't know everything right from wrong specifically all the time. But, like, you don't have to, like, push them or physically assault them or badger them in a way. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't have to. I don't, how many I don't, times I tell you not to? <laughs> like, I don't, see, I don't see how that's productive at all. Wale, you let me know. But, like. So, hey, they my, Cause my pops, I grew up. My pops never had to touch me. Mm. He just disciplined me, like in in his own way, where it's like, oh, if you do this, yeah, Hashim, you get hurt. Or if you do something bad, or you talk back, or you get in trouble, you're gonna lose this privilege. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. There's there, there's different ways of disciplining, and that's what people lose that connection. You yeah. can, by all intents and purposes, put your hands on your child if it comes down to it. But when you do that, make sure it's not like. A DB's a Dragon Ball Z beatdown, bro. Just <laughs> just a simple slap on the wrist or something, saying no, stop, because like of concern, like you're not trying to fuck, like bruise their body. You're just trying to give them an alert, saying yo, stop. That's that's not chill. Relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, there's definitely a misconception of what disciplining is, and also the <laughs> white people examples of. Oh yeah, shut up, mom. And the and the parents are like, oh, that's not nice. Discipline your child, all right. Get no, that, of course. Yeah, get that authority out. And and black people will 
think, oh damn, they get no kind of if I if I did that in my household, I would get that ass beat. No, some parents only gotta do anything to you. They could just be like, oh, <laughs> you're grounded. Guess what? No TV, no this, no that. They don't gotta do anything, they don't gotta touch you. They just gotta really show you whose house it is. So I feel like- I feel like either either way, whether it be physical or the discipline, it just depends on how, if the the um, the child sees it as was like, oh, I was doing something bad. Because either way, they could just be like, ah, oh, damn, this this my dad and my mom just really don't don't mess with me, man. Like they they're doing all this stuff, they're against me. But, but that's really, a bad you, feeling. Imagine that as a kid, yes, though. Yes, but if you did, if you took my car, you're. 10 years old, you're 13, take my car, crash it. Bro, you done, you put yourself in danger. But but here's the thing that nobody asks though, right? The 13, what? 14 year old takes the, the whip from their parents, right? Yeah. They steal the keys, take the whip. How the fuck did they get to the point where they thought that was even okay? Why would a kid that is being parented properly with a certain level of discipline and a certain connection with their parents and a respect he were a respect level for the parents and their authority and who they are to them and their relationship. Why would they even think it's okay? I never in my friends, right mind even, no matter on, how upset I could friends, ever be. Friends to, have a parent, big wait, wait, hold on. No matter how upset I could ever be with either one of my parents, I would mm -hmm. never in my right mind think, you know what I'm going to do? Let me get these keys out this purse and joy ride the whip. I, I don't care how pissed off I was. Or they, how that, fucked up they did something to me. That's you, Bobby. Hashim, I know what he was going to allude to. There are friends. There are, like, some, your, your child's not with you all the time. Of and course. Fingers crossed, because you don't know what happens. There's always that, there's a possibility there's that one person who is very influential to your child to make them do something that you would think is out of their character. Only that's because, true. like, they're, that person is, they they see that person as a cool person or uh, they're inspired by them. Whatever the case may be, it's just that one little lapse of judgment because of a certain outside influence that you, as out of your control, like they, that. That's the one time your teachings just kind of just they kind of just shut it down just to have fun or something. Yeah. What's that's the worst thing to be around? What, what I would say is, up until that point, it's it's your as a parent. If you, I'm not saying if you did a good job because anything could happen, but like. If your child really respects you and takes the, the teachings that you've been teaching them their entire life up to that point, when they get and get that influential friend, they'd be like, nah, like, I think something's wrong here, right? And mm -hmm. I think having the option to call you as a parent and not be terrified of the punishment is going to be a, a major key in the future for like parents, our generation, and next generation. Cause it's like, yeah, you're going to get in trouble, obviously, but at least you'll be safe to live another day. You mm -hmm. feel me? So I think yeah. your teachings, you have to trust your kid to make the right decision based off how you brought them up. And mm -hmm. the kid has to respect and trust you that your experiences and what you know was the right way, which is not, it's not always the right way, but sometimes it's just looking out for you. That's fair. There's, there's one more layer to this before. And this is probably the darkest layer, but like this, I really, and this is part of the biggest part of why I wanted to say this about the anti-blackness part, because why do black do too many people in black community justify essay especially towards kids and what and i know that sounds crazy i know no, they, 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 they this i know that sounds crazy no no i don't know what that was do they what they just something justify assault justify sa something assault, assault. yeah I, i'm not i don't want to i we can't say the term oh, but, we can we can oh. cut now I know that sounds crazy. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But hear hear me out, right? Justify that. Yeah. In R. Kelly's situation, for example, right? That this is an extreme example. But why did he do what he did for so many years where he could go to high schools or get all these young girls that are, you know, easily influenced by his celebrity and stuff like that? Yeah, part of it is because of his celebrity. Part of it was because, you know, is 
of who he was musically. But a part of it was because he had a bunch of people around him that thought what he was doing was justifiable because that was his itch that he just had to scratch, right? So even on the lower scale, right, you have black kids who, or people who who were black kids, right? Who Wait, Bobby, pause, the- pause real quick because okay. they're snowing apparently. My pops is bothering me to put the cars in. One sec, okay. one sec. Damn, yeah, snow out there ain't no snow over here, my boy. Just- yeah, y'all just get hurricanes. <clears throat> You need to chill out the hurricane thing, man. I've been uh, been out here, no hurricane hit. Not over. Please, please, just just chill. Please and thank you. Tropical oh, storm. My fault. Thank you. That's much better. <laughs> lower, lower that uh category to like zero. All right, we we'll go good. Took it from a five to a two. Oh God. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoop that trick. I don't see no damn snow. Continue. All right. Well, it, it's no <laughs> couple days ago. All right. So, so basically, what I'm saying on a lower scale, right? Even beyond what that extreme comparison, you'll have these people, the black people who were like a, who are adults, who were kids, who talk about how they were assaulted when they were younger, possibly by a friend, a family friend, or in some regard. And what is the thing that they told? Oh, I didn't want to tell my parents because they didn't believe me. They wasn't going to believe me. Or you'll see, let's say an older guy is with like a teenage girl or something, right? She's like 16, 17 years old. And what would what what's one of the things you used to hear all the time? These little fast ass girls. Why are you trying to get with these older men? You little fast ass. What do you mean? Like, why? <laughs> why is the onus on a child in regards to consent in a relationship or sex and not the adult who's doing something that isn't that is immoral like wh- why 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 do we okay and justify that i i it's a, more of an older problem but like yeah but still i that to me is like the biggest like i i need you guys maybe to explain it to me better because i don't i never understood that i really think it, it is just a older um generational thing as as well as the older generation like the older generation their their um age gaps were kind of wild um oh, i would i would say so maybe that that also plays in the role of like the the being fast or fast um but i i can't answer that question i i don't you have to ask the person in the older generation honestly because I, I don't think I, well, I, I haven't been a witness of anything of that matter, of essay, uh, especially in the black community. Um, so I can't speak of it. Mm-hmm. But for that, that sounds crazy. For the R. Kelly thing, I don't know what was going on. For the people that were there and people that don't listen. But as a kid, you have to trust. And this is what I said before. You have to be able to, as a parent, you have to be able to give your kid the opportunity to be come to you for anything you mm-hmm. believe them because and yeah they get punished but at least they they know they could be safe and have somebody in this world that they could trust and rely on i think that's a very important thing as a parent you go ahead Wallace. nah that like how she said you got to ask that older generation that kind of like I feel like that still applies now, though. I don't think it's just old. Well, um, hold on. On the R. Kelly Kelly bit, for example, that is a matter of, like you said, celebrity, power, willful ignorance. And I don't think that's exclusive to Black people. I I think that's just a humanitarian flaw thing. Again, willful ignorance that all these celebrities or even small communities, people like have to deal with every day like it's just someone's always willing to turn a blind eye for whatever reason some kind of f- weird sense of justification i don't think it's exclusively a black uh, person thing that's my that's my thing yeah i wasn't i wasn't trying to make it seem like it is i this this everything i'm that i've alluded to is not exclusive to us but i'm talking in regards to us this is a yeah this is the in-house it's, reflection. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like, to answer that problem is that that's a it's a 
it's a tough question to to answer mm-hmm. because it's not exclusive to us. If you told me something, the discipline thing that I I feel like that's easier to answer. This one, I couldn't tell you. Okay, so my final question is all the exam the different examples I said. Do you consider all of those things anti-black? And if you do or don't, why? Examples throughout. Like, no, I don't want to go first because I I don't think I fully really understand. The question. So so, so no. for so I I mentioned so I mentioned the essay part especially with uh younger black people, the yeah. uh whooping of kids uh-huh. and the lack of acceptance for non-traditional black people like in terms of like their identity yeah, I know. aesthetic and stuff like that so for each of those like do you consider any of those or all of those anti-black the way that i would or i i think for i i can't the the sexual assault thing i think is just across all races i don't know mm. basically what wally said i can't really speak on it for the first one where it's like if a a nerdy or a a gay or um whatever that just is not the what they would see is stereotypical or similar to them as a black person i think that would be anti-black because why are you not celebrating this person just won an award or this person just making strides like they're creating clothes they're doing crazy stuff being innovative just because they're the only one in their field doesn't mean they're um crazy it's uh, like i i think of uh lewis hamilton he he does nascar Mm -hmm. yeah one of if not the best nascar racer right now black um i'm pretty sure growing up he probably had a tough time because who the fuck is racing cars besides like white people right for the other one for the the whooping i don't think that's how how would that be anti-black because because you're basically saying it's okay to abuse and assault younger kids if they don't do what you want them to do or how you want them to do it. And it it gives off and it takes away the accountability from you as not only the adult, but as the parent to think it's okay that, oh, if they don't listen to me or do as I say, I'm going to just beat their ass. Well, I, 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 I referred to what Wally said. I don't think it'd be anti-Black it depends on the level, but I refer to what Wally said because you could discipline your child in different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't have to be like I said, annihilating, like going crazy, like taking your stress out on them, and then offering them dinner after. Be like, hey, you want some food? Nah. Um, <laughs> like you just so put me in a chokehold. Now yeah. you want to give me dinner? Like, yeah. Um, so I, I, I don't think that'll be. I, I still don't see how that could be anti-black. Um. I think it's more so people see other kids act out and they have been think, oh, that can never be me just because of what happened to to them in the past. But it could also be like they was just disciplined and they they, res- they know a certain level of respect that they have towards certain people until they're disrespected that they would, you know, do or perform or enact. Wally, you could go. So- I'm just chatting. So for the discipline part, I see where Bobby's saying the anti-black is where say you have two families or two parents, both of them black, and say, "Oh, you don't beat your child? Oh, that's kind of soft of you. That's anti-black. Uh, why is why is the being black mean you gotta beat that your child's ass into whatever degree? Like you don't have to do that. Um, but part with like being um a different sexuality or even the case of like like in anime." There are some black kids that be like, why would you like this? This is a third. Like, that is anti-black because I have a different taste. I think some of those things is, for some black people, is that they think being cool, like, black needs to be cool all the time, like a different level of swagger, you feel me? And if they see anything that jeopardizes that, they take that as an offense to what they hold as the black culture. Mm -hmm. So say you have a black kid that's going punk rock and emo, they're like, homie, what is you doing? No, mm-hmm. that's not what we about. That's mm-hmm. not what we about. They they feel like it's an attack on what that image of a black person they try to help either build or prolong, so to speak. Um, 
yeah, that's that's the only that's the takeaway I got from that. It's a it's a the willingness to really hold on to something so stern that you gotta denounce it or in some cases verbally beat someone's ass so they don't jeopardize that. You feel me? Now, for me, it's let people like what they like. If it's a harm to you and other people, that's a different story. If they ain't got nothing to do with you, if, if it's just something that, oh, okay, it's not really affecting me anyway, go about your business, really, honestly. Honestly. Now, if it's something, like, because there's always an extent to everything, especially how you dress. If you're out here streaking nearly naked in public, that, bruh, it's fashion. don't do that. It's fashion. I, so, <laughs> see? That's what I'm talking about. There's an extent. If you're if you're the bum ass excuse is fashion, I don't want to. is a freak, bro. How? Look at Kanye. He's selling know. shirts with holes in it. No, no, no. He's, and you he's buying like, it for five hundred dollars? I'm not buying nothing from Kanye. Anyway, don't you got Yeezy? Don't you got Anyways, Yeezy, sir? And I got I got Yeezy to resell. Oh, I ain't never oh. put my foot in Yeezy. Oh, I. Right. But yeah, that's okay. that's yeah, that's really all I have to say. So. As far as anti blackness goes, yeah, again, when it comes to people dating, like, oh, damn, you dating a white girl, you a you a fraud or a coolie, or what, 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 huh? Yes, there you go. That kind of thing. It's like you're gonna have to block that word out too. Yeah, I know. That's there's true. like some of those things. I think there's some baggage slash trauma that that's among the black community that they want to keep out, in a sense. I'm glad you actually mentioned that too because that is another thing. Like, I I like listen. I have I have a black girlfriend, yes, but Mm -hmm. and I've always been more so towards black women because Mm -hmm. that's that's my preference. I I feel like it's easier for a black woman to understand our culture and understand me as a black man compared to Mm -hmm. other race or ethnicity. Mm -hmm. That being said, though. I, taking away the autonomy, and I, I keep using this word, taking away the autonomy of someone else to have a person that is not black as their significant other is insane. And I notice it mainly happens with black men. And that's the thing that bothers me because black women can be with a white man and oftentimes there's not a lot of crazy pushback. Like a lot of other sisters will look at it and be like, yes, yeah, sis, because they'll attribute the white man to a successful lick, so to speak. Mm-hmm. If a black man's with a white woman, Asian girl, Hispanic, whatever, just a woman that's not a sister, then it's like, oh, he's a sellout. Oh, he's a this. Uh, and yeah, yeah. And yeah. even as someone who, again, I have always preferred black women, so it doesn't mm-hmm. apply to me. But even from an outside perspective, in that, it still kind of bothers me because it's like, just because that person is not with a black person doesn't mean they're anti-black. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? cause you can be with a black, you could have a black black couple, and both of them niggas don't do nothing to benefit any black person, include <laughs> outside of themselves. So it's like that. The ty- that type of shit too is is what I, I I don't like those those type of um those type of references, those type uh-huh. of like innuendos, like you said of like oh you have to do this a certain way. To be identified as black, because there's mm-hmm. so many great versions of us, and we mm-hmm. come in a lot of different forms. And as long as you are, that's a, it's just trauma, that, I think, bro. I literally think it's just trauma because again, we have a history of racism <laughs> towards us from the outside people, be it white, Asian, um, etc. Like it's some, it's, it's just our, it's just the black community's way of forming a wall, saying, "All right, everyone else, keep out. If yeah. you didn't want us before, we don't want y'all." And if someone like kind of like goes against that ide- ideal, then it's an issue. But that's the I, thing. I, 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 at what point do you stop doing that with each other, though? I would say it wouldn't be an issue unless it's extor- extraordinary good, like out, they see it as an extraordinary good outlook on like the black community. And I think of, I always think of sports and like Tiger Woods playing golf. Really the only black person I really know that be playing golf. Um, that's on that on that level, right? But I'm pretty sure, like, growing up, he's playing golf. Everybody else out there playing, playing in the water, double dutch, or whatever stereotypical people people might say about playing uh, for black people. But Tiger also but, never. But see, Tiger though is a is a certain case because like he never fully embraced his blackness either, so to speak. 
So that's true. But, it, do you give him credit for that? But Is, as as a black community, we accept him as greatness. Oh yeah, one 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 of the best goal for one of the best sports of. A white man's game is black. Mm -hmm. If he was garbage, that would not be said. We would not accept him at all. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. That's, 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 that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, I got nothing more to say. Just, just uh, black folks, just, just take, take it easy. All right, take it easy. It's, it's gonna be all right. Listen, as as I said, all these different things. I'm, I'm saying this because I love all of us. Well, most of us, some of you niggas, I don't like because y'all. Damn, bro. I don't because some of y'all are like don't give a fuck about us. So why would I care about you? But I I love most of us. So this was this was just an open ended topic that I wanted to discuss is Black History Month. But uh, let us know your thoughts whether you are black or are not black. Preferably if you are black because you know you have an understanding of what we talked about. But if you're not, feel free to comment below what you think. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to us on podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Make sure you follow us on IG, HBCU3, TikTok, the HBCU Podcast. All our individual socials will be on the page as well. Um, any final thoughts or lasting words, guys? Uh, Hashim, go first. Happy Black History Month, guys. Um, stay proud, stay strong. Enjoy, enjoy the holidays. If you get the holidays off, um, be safe out there. Mm, mm, yep. well I, I don't get the holidays off. Me Damn. Either. That's why I said um, if you get the holidays off. Bro. Yeah, and y'all know what to do. Keep following us. We're, we're trying things. We're almost close to 100 subscribers. We're growing. We're getting there. You feel me? It's it's a long race, but it'll end at some point. Um. Also, yeah, like like, Bobby said, we care about you. I personally hate a lot of people. I hate all of you, um, except for the people in my circle. You feel me? Because um, there's a lot. There's a sickness, and and yeah, Vivian, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. behavior, and we do not want it. Okay? All this, all these generalizations, all these gender wars, all this stupid nonsense. You know what? F all. Uh. Peace, y'all. <laughs>